just a few words uh, on me and, and uh, on my group before to, to begin with the presentation. Uh, I work uh, in the trade marketing uh, depart department uh, in, uh, in Pirelli. It's a very new team. Uh, I'm in Pirelli since uh, 2013, as uh, I said before, but uh, I'm in this team since uh, February. And uh, like, uh, I'm like a veteran in this team because this team was founded in January. So I, I'm quite, uh, quite the, the most senior guy in, in that team. Um, why this team was founded? Because uh, we have a, a very big uh, focus on retail now that before wasn't so, you know, big. And, uh, but be before talking about uh, what we are doing now, that is uh, a tool, of, a geomarketing tool that is helping us uh, to increase our footprint all, all over the world, I just wanted to show you what is uh, Pirelli for us and uh, what we try to be and uh, which are our values. We, we try to be these guys. I always smile when I see this video because uh, I know a lot of the faces uh, you see in the mosaics, uh, you know, that uh, is presented there. And uh, I'm very proud to be part of uh, this organization. But anyway, getting back to reality. This is uh, the tool that uh, we developed uh, with uh, our uh, partner, that is uh, Value Lab. They are, are here. <laughs> and, uh, this tool is giving us uh, a lot of information. The first information that is giving us uh, is uh, the position and uh, you know all the all the point of sales uh, that uh, are now affiliated uh, to our network. Another thing that uh, we can find on this tool is uh, all uh, our competitors uh, point of sales uh, as as well all the independent dealers. Uh, but uh, another layer or information that, that we can find here, it's uh, the market potential for each area that uh, we can find on the map. So I showed you in two slides, very fast slides, uh, uh, more or less uh, what uh, we have on this tool, but why we are developing this tool. Uh, we are developing this tool uh, as because uh, we have this big focus on retail now, and also I say to you that uh, my team is very new, and uh, we were made up and taken from uh, a lot of different parts of the uh, of the company to 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 lead the change in uh, in our footprint uh, in the retailer in, in the retail market. Why? Because. Uh, what we communicate uh, the, to our investor is that uh, we want to increase our network, our affiliated and 
network uh, by 35% from 2017 to 2020. This is very important to us because we are a big company, but not so big. Our competitors are bigger than us, so we have to focalize on being better, not bigger, let's say. So we try uh, to, fo to focalize um, on, uh, on technolo technology, on prestige, and uh, on premium cars. That means that we have to reach our final customer that is not the retailer, but uh, the final customer that owns the car. Uh, and to reach them, it's the only thing we can do is to engage our retail to communicate coherently our strategy to the final customer. Because obviously, if you're going to a retailer that is selling Pirelli, probably if he's an, uh, an hour affiliated, this guy could communicate you very, very well, which is uh, the, the value that is behind our brand. To uh, develop this tool, we defined a three steps methodology. The first one was, uh, I think, the most interesting and uh, was uh, uh, making a lot of interviews uh, in, uh, with a lot of different markets uh, because we had to understand which their, um, their needings are. Because as you can imagine, uh, when you go in uh, Brazil or uh, in Russia or uh, in uh, Gulf countries, they have uh, completely different re retail networks. They are, have completely different ne needings not only the, the retailers, but also our colleagues that uh, live there and, uh, and work there. So we wanted to understand uh, which uh, uh, kind of KPIs they, are, they were using and which kind of instrument they were using on geomarketing before. Because our, our project is a global project. Then we had to define the information that uh, has to be displayed on the tool. This tool is not only for the management, and not only for the operative people, is also for the salesmen. So we had to define something that could be useful for all these different uh, internal customers. Then uh, we obviously defined uh, a global definition and calculation of the KPIs, because as you can imagine, uh, the world is big and uh, Market coverage could be calculated uh, in some way in Turkey and in another way in Poland. We don't want to do that because uh, obviously we want to understand everything at the same level. So which KPIs are, monitoring, are we monitoring now? Uh, the, the, the tire market potential, which is our coverage, which is our saline that is uh, already on the territory, which is the car market potential, and I will uh, talk about that uh, later which is the market share that we already have in our share wallet in our retails, and uh, which, is, uh, which, which is the list of the competitor point of sales. So as I said before, we are trying, we are trying, we succeeded to implement a global enterprise platform, and uh, we collected and standardized a lot of data from a lot of different countries, and we had a lot of difficulties to doing that. But uh, then with the help of our IT and uh, our partners, that is uh, value, value Lab, we crunched all this data in a, in a, unique, um, in a unique tool. Uh, what we did, it, uh, we, we took uh, all the calculation of the market potential, that is uh, basically something that uh, you can uh, uh, have from the total registered cars in some area, then you can add a guessing of uh, which is the statistical pro probability that uh, the owner of this car is changing the tires in one year. So there is a, a, mul a multiplicator that has to be applied to this uh, car park. Car park that is not parking lot. Car park is English, not American. They told me that uh, I have to specify. And uh, anyway, uh, what uh, our uh, consultants uh, of Value Lab uh, added to this uh, calculation that was made internally it was uh, the geographical dimension. 
This geographical dimension is very important because, as you can imagine, if you own a Porsche Panamera or a Porsche Macan and you live in San Diego, you are facing a completely different weather condition uh, with the same car, but in Switzerland. Obviously, uh, in Switzerland, maybe you have snow, you, you have uh, more rain, I think. And uh, I think worst road because uh, Switzerland uh, is, uh, as you know, on the Alps. So uh, the stress that is applied on the tire is completely different than, than uh, going on a, in a highway in, a, in the US that is flat, uh, so not so stressing to the tire. So probably someone that is living in Switzerland uh, with the all the, we say ceteris paribus in Latin, that is uh, everything uh, the same in Switzerland and in San Diego, just to be in San Diego, uh, they will change tires not so much as in, in Switzerland. So we distributed uh, to the markets maps, KPIs, and self-service reports and, and dynamic analysis. Obviously, uh, we, are all, we are in that quarter, so we are also uh, helping our markets uh, with uh, all these kind of, uh, of analysis. So this is uh, one of, uh, of the outputs of our tool, that is a matrix. In this matrix, you can see uh, different kind of behaviors that we have to do in uh, taken which is the market potential and which is our coverage. Obviously, if the market potential is very high and uh, we are uh, very, very focused on prestige market potential, that means, uh, for example, uh, uh, an area when, uh, where we know that uh, it's full of Ferrari, Lamborghini, and Porsche, and so on, we try to attack that area. Obviously, if, the coverage, if our coverage is very low, uh, all our efforts are focused on that area because we want to cover that area with our retail network. So, one, once that we find that uh, we have a wide spot on the map, what do we have to do? Obviously, we have to find a partner on, uh, on the map because uh, uh, we don't want, usually, but it's not so, okay, we, let's say usually, we don't want to buy uh, new point, point of sales. We just want uh, to convert them to Pirelli, so to affiliate them to our franchising network. So with this tool, we can uh, see point of sales by point of sale, which, are, which is the point of sales that is covering the best uh, area in terms of uh, potential. So in that area, we know that we have a lot of, of good, good cars with good tires and expensive tires. So we can uh, go and attack uh, that independent dealer, or even if uh, it's uh, a dealer of our competitor, we try to convert, in, convert it to Pirelli. So after the conversion, what we do? We want, we want not to be just salesmen, but also to be consultants, because uh, our, our customer to us, our, ambas our, our ambassador to the final customer. So we can help the, um, the retailer to lower its, its stock, because we can go to, to him and say, okay, guy, you, we know that you have, uh, I don't know, 20 uh, Lamborghini in, the, in your area. It's not true, but probably, uh, maybe in Monte Carlo, it will be like that. But uh, you have 20 Lamborghini in your, in your area. So why are you taking tires for the Fiat Panda? No one has the Fiat Panda in, uh, in Monte Carlo. So just buy the, the right tires. This is very important for them because they don't have the power to develop a geomarketing tool. We have it. So we can be not only, let's say, uh, affiliated, but also consultants. This is another view uh, that we developed uh, just for our management to make more strategic decisions because as you see, as you saw before, 
that was very, very specific on the point of sales. This one is uh, at worldwide level. And uh, this is very useful, so you can see macro phenomena uh, on, on the map. So this is our experience. This is how we are using now geomarketing to help uh, our retail and uh, to try to be more present on the territory. So one of the things I really like about Sergio's story is this idea of bringing the, the whole world together, right? You obviously got information from many different sources from many different organizations. How challenging was that? A lot. It was, it was, uh, it was very difficult because uh, not only for you know, different languages uh, and a different way of thinking, because uh, obviously people uh, is thinking in a different manner also between uh, Germany and Italy that are very close and uh, we are uh, all uh, Europeans, uh, there is some uh, different way to, to see things. So you can imagine which is the difference uh, between uh, US and Italy and uh, Gulf Cooperation countries. It's completely, completely different. And uh, also uh, from, for stupid things like uh, time zones. Because, uh, for example, uh, when uh, during the last, uh, I will say, two months, uh, I spent uh, all my commuting uh, time, uh, like from uh, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., returning home in, uh, in phone, phone conference with Brazil. <laughs> so it was at least they, they, they take me company, you know, because uh, I'm alone on the train, so I can speak with them <laughs> about uh, KPIs and the problems uh, we have with their database and so on. All right. Well, thank, thank you again, Sergio. It's fantastic. Thank you.